we have to leave the kid in the car. It's no negotiation. <laughs> we have to. They're, you're we, either 100% a hero or 100% <laughs> the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> A f***ing criminal, I think. <laughs> What's up, Wikimaniacs, and welcome back to Reddit on Wiki, where we scour Reddit in search of some of the wildest stories the internet has to offer. My name is Josh Shell, and back uh, for the first time in a week, we got John and Sean on today. Whoa. Going, yes. Boys? Reunited. I feel like I haven't seen all the two, oh, two of you collectively for some time now. Well, we record out of order. We recorded next Monday's episode yesterday. It's very yes. confusing. Uh, so I saw John yesterday, but not both of you at the same time. At the yeah, same we time, haven't all yes, three been, been together in a while. And I gotta say, we true. look and feel oh like a million <laughs> bucks. If you know what I mean. Well, maybe you should send us all a million dollars or some shit. Please, God, we do need that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel out of place. I didn't wear my merch today. I just wore But look at that shirt. hat. You do have a hat. Well, but look good. at that hat on. That's true. That's true. We're all <laughs> repping. We're repping the set. Yeah. Exactly. It, actually, this is most of our, our merch, so <laughs> we're good, true. actually. Yeah, so for those of you listening, uh, the boys finally got merch. John's got Wikimaniacs, and Sean's got the Row, Row, Row merch. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to do my fucking mic like you guys to where I could show my... My pecs off. Show the t-shirt <laughs> off. I wore black, so you can't tell where my pecs start and where they end. <laughs> That's the sexiest part is the imagination, Josh. <laughs> exactly. Yes, thank you, Sean. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into today's menu. Today we have a father who just wants his son to come on a family vacation, a mother who refuses to negotiate, a son who talks behind his dad's back along with an update. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a husband who makes a joke. A girlfriend sits on her boyfriend's friend's lap. Hey, Let's yo. Two <laughs> layers. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> and we have an OP who doesn't know who Jesus is. I mean, I mean fair. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for the Patreon exclusive stories, we have a boyfriend who keeps a secret from his girlfriend. And we have mm. a bridesmaid who gets fired from the wedding. Ew. This one, that oh. one might split us. <laughs> Ooh, there's us. a twist. Oh, you know us with weddings, man. Like it could be a split. We'll see. Could be. Could be. So if you want those last two stories and get ad-free episodes, head on over to patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network. Sign up today. I don't know if we ever addressed this, but like the most like the biggest surge of patrons we've ever got is when we teased a fight. <laughs> What's that about, y'all? <laughs> What's they that about? Our downfall. <laughs> you yeah, want us hey, to- wait a second. Yeah, we don't want that. That's all that's all organic right there, okay? <laughs> that was organic. That I literally picked that story being like this there's nothing like controversial about this. I didn't think there was going to be any issues and uh It's yeah. always that. It was first it was the egg, then it was the water. So <laughs> let's see what's next. All right. Well, uh just quick announcement. If you haven't checked out Wednesday's episode, yes. <gasps> that's right. We had a Wednesday episode this week. Well, uh, to kind of make up for, you know, only doing one, one episode yeah. last week, uh, we released the first ever episode of Sangria with Sienna, uh, where my lovely girlfriend Sienna sits down with her friend Katrina and they talk uh, disaster dates, uh, Tinder horror stories and Oof. quite a bit else. Uh, it's, it's a great, great listen. If you haven't checked it out, go download Wednesday's episode, obviously after this episode. But, uh, or both, same time. Or both. Listen <laughs> simultaneously. Wow. Um, and be confused while you listen to one in each ear. Sexy. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's the, the word for that, but sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, with that, so are you guys ready to hop into the first episode or first story today? Wait, before Let's we get it. started, I do want to address one thing. Oh, okay. Sean. I have full confidence in you that you will not go one for six today. 
Bro, that was bad last week. That was rough. I forgot about that. Was that, that counting the yeah. Patreon? Because we were, I was also off on the Patreon, I think, too. Uh, I well, mean, no spoilers. I guess you, won I guess. Four, you were two for eight. Two for eight. Yeah. Two for Jesus. eight, I think. Yeah. You got one in the Patreon. Yeah. I believe in I think you. after I lost the first three, I was like, I have nothing left to lose. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> there was a couple where I was like, this is a wild take from Sean. Uh, I don't know if he's just off today or, or what, but... Uh, like I said, I fucking need John. Yeah. I, you do. I'm, I'm the chip on your shoulder, my guy. He's yeah. the necessary, <laughs> necessary part of my success. Yes. He's the devil in your ear. So you go, yeah. oh, that <laughs> must Definitely be the, the wrong devil. answer. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's said out loud, that is bad. That's objectively <laughs> bad, I think. Yeah. 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 But, you know, you guys balance each other out. Just like the angel and devil on John's beautiful shirt there. I'm Whoa. definitely the devil. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't say, but we we knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I acknowledge it. All right. So the first story is cross posted on our subreddit, r slash Reddit on Wiki, uh, by mission lower score add lower score four five seven three. Am I the asshole for expecting my eighteen year old to come on our family vacation? Expecting. I don't know. Eighteen year olds, they got a mind of their own. Yeah, they're 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 in the I'm trying to do my own thing phase of their life. That's true. Let's go back to John's 18 year old self. Oh, you don't want that? <laughs> oh, such a dick. We need to have John on Sangria with Sienna to talk about his early years. Oh, you don't. It's, it's I a feel mystery. Like I'm cancelable back then. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, you, but but you've redeemed yourself. Everyone loves uh, a comeback story. Uh, yeah, they, they've seen that Parks and Rec outtake. True. Yeah. True. You've changed to become a better person, John. I think we uh, all have. Arguably. That's <laughs> sure. Well, <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but what do you, what do you guys I, think about the story? I, I'm going to go nobody sucks here. It's yeah, it's just a okay. miscommunication. Uh, you want your, you know, your full family there for a family vacation, which is fine and understandable. But, yeah. you know, they're 18. They're going to want to do their own thing. They're... They're in the, I'm going to college, you know, I'm making my own friends type of I'm an adult type of shit. Vibe. You know, like, I'm my own yeah, person. Yeah. Finally free out the house, free off of your rules type of shit, you know? <laughs> so that's that's the vibe. But uh, yeah, nobody sucks is my guess on this Fun one. fact, I was like 24 with a curfew still. Like a sick. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie, you still have a curfew. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I, I don't think I, I think my parents took my curfew away when I finally like moved. I mean, of course, they can't give me a curfew when I move out. But <laughs> like, <you> imagine? <laughs> whenever I moved back, every, everything was much more lax. Because I, yeah, right. I lived away from home for like two or three years. And then I came back and they were like, yeah, you're an adult. You've paid rent. You know what it's like. And I'm like, yeah. Man. <laughs> I, 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 I hate to tell you, parents, I was an adult at uh, probably 20 also. I probably could have done without the curfew. But uh, that's fine. There'll be times when I was like 16, 17. I don't, I didn't even go home sometimes. Oh, Jeez. God. We yeah. lived very different lives. I did as well, Very. but I didn't drink, so I was. Yeah, I'd be waking so, up sober. at some, someone else's house. I'm like, oh shit, what a fuck am I? <laughs> <laughs> I was the designated driver in high school, so that's designated we lived very drinker different was me. <laughs> we, we definitely lived very different lives. Yeah, <laughs> all three of us. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, right, mom, love you. <laughs> yeah, she listens. So yeah, uh, she does. Shout out Tita. Oh wow! I'm so proud. I'm the so lessons. Proud. Oh yes. <laughs> All right, let's hop into the story. So uh, every year I take my kids, 18 male, 17 male, 15 female to the beach for the 4th of July for a camping trip. We have done this every year, uh, starting when my 18 year old was eight months old. I loved it so much that when their mother and I divorced, I made sure I got the 4th of July holiday every year in the custody agreement so I could continue the tradition just because I love beach camping so much. Last week, my stepson, 13, was talking about the upcoming trip, uh, upcoming camping trip, and my 18-year-old said he would not be going. I told him he absolutely must go. It's tradition, uh. and it's court-ordered custody agreement. Oh. He told me that he... But Ooh. past 18, right? That doesn't matter anymore? That, I mean, that... Correct me if I'm wrong, Rebecca. Like, you're a lawyer, so you should correct I, this. I, I think legally when you're an adult, you're no longer you're, under yeah, a child no longer. custody. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a little hole in that... Uh, thought. Um, he told me he's 18 and will have graduated from high school by then. So he does not care about the custody agreement and then said that it expired for him when he turned 18 a few months ago. Well, it doesn't say anything in the agreement about it expiring. 
So I think maybe his mother, his mom told him that when he turned 18 a few months ago. I told him the Kremen is court ordered and he needs to be with me for the trip, just like every year. He said no and that he was going to take a graduation trip with his friends to Disneyland. Not yeah. sponsored. <laughs> I told him yeah, that he's not allowed Disney. to. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they want to pay us, then we love Disney. <laughs> then we're <laughs> unsure. We're cool. I'm going to be spending <laughs> my money. This December when you're yeah <laughs> yeah we'll go to Dallas Disneyland or whatever. Are we getting? Is that happening? There's is a, that a thing? No, that was a rumor. Universal. Oh, it's a uni- I think one. a Universal. Oh, they're playing. Yeah, Universal Studios. They're playing. Also not sponsored. So. Also, yeah, fuck <laughs> Universal too. Actually, unless <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless we can be swayed. We absolutely can be. So I told him he's not allowed to go to Disneyland with his friends because this is my court ordered time with him. Man. He said he would not be coming to see me anymore after he graduates and that he's only coming for now for his brother and sister and that I can't make him go. I told him if he doesn't come on the trip, I will take his mother to court for contempt against the custody agreement. You're going to lose that battle, ab- brother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he called me an abusive asshole who doesn't understand how the age of majority works. He said I could post this here because the internet would agree with him. So internet, am I the asshole? We we might take the L on this one, John. No, <laughs> I actually, uh, it's okay. No, I think I'm L. not going to call him an asshole. <laughs> I'm going to call him there ignorant. You go. No, I'm, well, I'm not going to call him an asshole. I'm calling him ignorant. I think he's an asshole if he's threatening I'm, to take the money. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go <laughs> asshole. Because here, here, <laughs> look at this thing. Like, uh, if you, I get it. You want your court court appointed time, but like, you know, maybe it's because I don't have a child yet. But also, just if I'm anywhere, I don't want to be hanging out with someone that very obviously does not want to be hanging out with me. You know what I mean? True. It's different when it's your kid. I'm sure, especially when you know you've raised. Him, you've been doing this since he was eight months old. But like, yeah, if if like I wanted to hang out with my uh, nephew, and he was just like, nah, actually, I want to hang out with my friends. I'll be like, yeah, of course. I'm not gonna make you stay home yeah. and hang out with your fucking old uncle when you have <laughs> friends your age that you'd rather hang out with. Yeah, it's a, why would I, you know, just me want to hang out with anybody that is very obviously forced to be there. Uh, Yeah. It it sounds like a bad vibe. And I think you, I I agree with Josh. I think you're an asshole for like bringing the law into this, even though you're wrong uh, and trying to sue the, your ex-wife or mother of the children or whatever. It's just bad news. And and threatening, you're threatening the kid. You know what I mean? You're forcing him to not, uh, uh, you only graduate high school once. You know, yeah. and you can only maybe his friends are going away for college. You know, this is their last hurrah. And you're going to try and block that. So you could beach camp. You could beach camp, whatever, man. Yeah. Whenever. Yeah. I don't uh, know. And that's I, I that's where I think he's the asshole with the mother thing. Like th- threatening the mom for custody is like that's an asshole move. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I don't think he's an asshole because I think this is where John's going to go. I don't think he's an asshole. That, that's where I'm going to go. I'm, I'm waiting for you guys to finish. that, yeah. And then I'll do my part. I don't think he's an asshole for wanting to spend time with his kids. I don't, that's not where I think he's the asshole. Uh, and I think he is dumb. Like you said there, John, just for, uh, or ignorant, whatever you said, uh, for not understanding that 18, you're a legal adult. But I think after that, trying to force him and then threatening the mom is where he becomes the asshole. Uh, but I will let you say your piece if, if you want to go ahead. That was my hesitance of calling him a full asshole. Cause first and foremost, he's ignorant about it. If he had known the rules that like, whatever the statute of thing is after 18, it's considered him an adult. Then I think if he had, if he had understood that fact from the get go, I think he'd have no say afterwards. Cause then he can't go and say, Hey, I'm going to sue the fuck or I'm going to take your mom to court. Cause then he's going to understand the law. And at the end of the day to me, like it's hard for me to fully call him an asshole. Eh, he's an idiotic person. Like I, I'll give him <laughs> that. But I think his, the big deal for me is that he just wants to spend time with his kids. And yes, it does sound forced, and yes, it does sound like, you know, the kid wants to do their own thing. But to me, he just wants to get his family together. It's a tradition that they've been doing for, for quite some time. It's a good way for the, the the siblings to bond with each other for something that they've done since, you said, what, 18 months was yeah. when they yeah, first started so. doing that? <clears throat> so, of course, years. it's like a hard pill to swallow for a father to say, like, no one wants to spend time with me anymore. So that's I right. think that's where I'm coming from with that. Let, let me change the scenario quite a like a little bit. Uh, what if the tradition was going to like Christmas mass at church and the friend is like, no, the 18 year old is like, no, I want to spend Christmas like 
with my girlfriend's family. He's like, who is Jesus? <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> like, who is later, Jesus? You know what I mean? Does that change <laughs> your thing? He's like, no, this is our tradition. We go to Christmas mass every Christmas. We've been doing it, it since you're eight months years old. Like, if you don't go, do I'm going to sue your mom. <laughs> <laughs> is that, does that, would, would, would we not all be like, fuck you for making him go to church? Like, it would be the same fucking, we'd be going ham. But there's nothing like, there's no connotation between like a forced religion and just, you know, and just going to the beach. And a forced, forced beach, beach camping trip. Religion. It's forced. Yeah. It's forced. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's hard for me. I, I, don't get me wrong. I think he's an idiot, but I, it's hard for me just to call him an asshole and for this matter. That's fair. I mean, you don't have to. That, that's yeah, just, yeah. I, I think we're explaining, and again, not the asshole for wanting to hang out with kids, but asshole for trying to force and then. The threat against the mom is probably the most egregious thing because it's like, <laughs> if you don't understand the law, don't just immediately go to be like, I'm threatening. Yeah, <laughs> Which, yeah you went to an immediate hostile lose. energy. And like, if, if I was this kid and I didn't want to go to that uh, beach trip before, you bet your ass I definitely don't want to go now. Like, are you crazy? <laughs> like, true. hey, no, actually you're forced. And if you don't go, I'm suing I'm your, mom. your mom. <laughs> yeah. How's that? You're gonna oh, enjoy it, go huh? Now. You're gonna love go. this camping trip. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, mandatory You're crazy. Is the best. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, a couple comments here I wanted to read uh, from Julie fourteen twelve said, uh, "What does he think a custody agreement is if not for children only? Does he think his son will still have to come when he's 40? Yeah. And then uh, Emir's commented. Now, son, I know that your wife is giving birth as we speak, but it's 4th of July and you must be at my <laughs> camping trip. <laughs> He's dumb yeah, as fuck. He's stupid yeah, as shit. <laughs> yeah, he definitely is not not the brightest bulb in the no. in the shed. But a little stupid beach. <laughs> God damn it. Perfect. You We're missed back. that, Sean. <laughs> I did miss it. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> two whole episodes without puns, John. It was, it was wild. Oh. Uh, yeah, you weren't yourself. I, I, I didn't like I didn't like hearing that from you, Sean. Yeah, it was a less contentious episode. Though, I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm sure you loved me constantly pleading for you to come back. Oh, absolutely! It stroked my <laughs> ego a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty bricked up for a little bit hearing that. Yeah, <laughs> would never say it to your face. But yeah, That's say fine. it a bunch what? of times. I know what Sean really feels about me. Yeah, unfortunately. True. True. <laughs> All right. So the next story is cross posted by Sad Lower Score Taxi, and the title is "Am I the asshole for not negotiating to leave our toddler in a car?" Wait, Whoa, wait, wait. They left the toddler <laughs> in a car. Wait, wait. That's illegal, friend. <laughs> Say that again. Am I the asshole for not negotiating to leave our toddler in a car? Who the fuck was negotiating to leave a toddler in a car? Okay, okay, okay. It, it, it depends Criminal. on what side of the leaving the kid in the car you're on. Yeah. If you're Flip like, your no, we can't, your leave, we can't leave the kid in the car. I'm not negotiating that. That's a wild <laughs> claim. Or if you're on the, dude, we have to leave the kid in the car. It's no negotiation. We have to. There, you're we, either 100% a hero or 100% <laughs> or a the villain. asshole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. A fucking criminal, I think. Um, I wouldn't even leave my dogs in a car. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, no? That's good. <laughs> that also illegal, I think, isn't it? Uh, very much so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so flip your coin. Which side do you think this lands on? Uh, you got to think no sane person would go on the internet Reddit. and write like, I yeah, can Have you believe you they wanted me to take to my show? kid out of the car? <laughs> yeah, but That's this is true. some criminal Reddit is, shit. But this is like <laughs> child endangerment some for law sure. law and order SVU type of shit. Well, not I've got SVU, a couple stories later order. on. And you, you'll see. People are crazy. <laughs> That's true. That we, I mean, we've already read a lot of stupid ass OPS uh, yeah. before. Uh, I'm going right. to say not the asshole. Okay. I'm You're fucking, hoping I'm, for humanity. You know what? I'm a... I'm going to say he's the asshole or she's the asshole <laughs> oh, in this situation. Shit. They wanted to leave their fucking kid in the car. And I think that sums up John and Chad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One has hope in humanity and the other does not. Does uh, not. And fair which enough. Is, which is funny enough because I sided with humanity last fucking story. <laughs> uh, you did. Yeah, actually you did. Uh, all right. So as the title says, my husband is angry because I got very upset about how he handled the situation with our toddler. I came home from an appointment today and asked how things went while I was gone. My husband th said that our three-year-old fell asleep in the car and he ran into the coffee shop to grab a drink while our son slept in the car. Oh, fuck. When I asked him if he brought the toddler in with him, he said no. 
<laughs> I told him that he cannot leave our child unattended in the car. He said it was only for 90 seconds and the door was locked. <laughs> We can't get out. What you, uh, uh, you can't oh, do that, nah. man. It, it's I like told, one second is a second too long, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I told him there was no negotiating in this situation and that if he cannot take his son with him, I would prefer him not to take Yeah, uh, I would f- prefer for him to not take him on a drive and to leave our son with me. I told him someone could steal the car with our toddler in the back. He yep. can wake up scared, etc. My husband has left at the house angrily because he said I won't listen to his thoughts about why it's okay. Am and I the left asshole? the house angrily? <laughs> Look at that Brother. shot. Got one right. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh, it feels good. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. You're absolutely in the right to not negotiate that. Um, yes. Yeah. Like you said, a thousand bad scenarios. It's not worth it, especially when there's fucking drive-through Starbucks on every street corner. You know Thank what I mean? You. Like, That's exactly. You can yeah. hit a drive-through coffee shop. You know, or you could, don't they, I mean, I don't know how old the kid is. It's a toddler. Three. Three. Okay. So, uh, well, maybe you can, they have those seats where you could just unbuckle it and keep them in their little basket and then walk in with the basket. You know what I mean? I mean, that's if they have that, but I mean. Yeah. yeah. But I, I don't know. I don't have a child. Besides the point. (laughs) I'm not with child, but uh, I feel like that's a, most have that functionality. Yeah. yeah, There's like, probably. She got a big old three-year-old. And then, you know, there's so many options for getting like food now. You a lot of places still offers like contactless delivery where you just park oh, up for a sure. spot and then they just, you know, come in. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I see Kara. Hi, Kara. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Anyways, but yeah, there's so many options where you can do that. But no, the dad was like, no, nah, I can leave the kid for about a, like two <laughs> minutes and they'll be all yeah. right. Also, uh, I don't like you guys have been to coffee shops. Uh, there's no way 90 seconds he was in and out. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> Unless you ordered prior, you did like a call in. Uh, and maybe. And, and, and if it's done in 90 seconds, you know that coffee fucking sucks. <laughs> it's warm as shit. It's cold as shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I'm begging that he ordered ahead of time. I I would think that's the well, whole either that if, or if he's straight options, up lying. Yeah, because there's options, no way you're not getting uh, a 90 second. Coffee. Uh, espresso pool. <laughs> and like no. I said, if there's options to call in, chances are there's options for contactless like delivery outside. So oh, yeah. his father is just a terrible fucking human being. And I was going to say human being, but I used that joke before. But, um, <laughs> just a horrible, horrible guy. I like how John says I was going to use this and then kind of uses it while he's yeah. saying I was going. To but, you know, <laughs> the, inten- the intention is there. I know yeah, you missed that. Yeah, Jesus. It, it is there. Uh, so yeah, I don't I, I don't I don't know if I told I. I agree. I think he's the asshole. I think he's dumb for leaving. I think he's dumb for leaving the kid in there. But I don't know if he's like a terrible person. No. I think uh, he could just be. I think he's like, I think of this guy as how John thought of the other guy. Just ignorant and kind of and very (laughs) Ah, stupid. Fair. So I I don't think. Yeah, I don't think he's a terrible dad or anything. But it was like a lapse of judgment. Yeah, this might have been like his his first kid. He was like, dude, I called it in. It's just going (laughs) to run in and out. Yeah. So okay. yeah. So maybe uh, first I mean, kid, you know, you don't you don't know the rules, right? I mean, we don't have kids and we already know that's bad, but some guys aren't the smartest. Uh not saying that we are, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to find reasons for this guy. But uh yeah, I don't yeah. So he's an idiot. Yeah, I think yeah. he's a, a real idiot. I think he's a real dumbass. Yeah, but OP is not the asshole. I guess OP's that's definitely the, not the for asshole. Sure. That was the question. Had so all the fucking reason to be angry at that situation. Oh yeah, Correct. and it doesn't even sound like she was like being unreasonable. She was just like, nah. "There's no nego- Like, just don't leave our kid in the car. If you if you have to, just leave him at home with me. Like that should be the. It sounds like she was even giving him like a solution. Plan. Problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If anything, he's the asshole for just storming out and just be like, "Oh, yes, a hundred percent, hundred percent." Yeah. Yeah, because because she's like she's like saying like you fucked up, but here's what we can do in the future. And he's just yeah. like, no, I want to leave my child in the car. Yeah, she's not saying like <laughs> you can't ever fucking get coffee with our kid again. She's just saying yeah. like if you do need to like if you can't like get it curbside or you know whatever, take him in, just, whatever. Just leave yeah. the kid with me. Yeah. It's fine. And he was like, yeah. you're not fucking listening. <laughs> yeah, that I want to leave him in the car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Well, with that, we're going to take a coffee break and uh, we'll be right back. Uh, and maybe Kara will show her face a little bit more. We'll, we'll get her to do some tricks. Ugh, she, 
Oh, uh, don't she left. You scared her. At the her sound of work, she was like, oh, no, no, thank you, actually. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Car. As soon as you suggested it, she stood Car the fuck like, up I'm and was like, I'm paid for out. this shit. Not in my and contract. She said, oh my God, is this not the Patreon section? And then dipped. <laughs> out. Uh, so we'll be right back and uh, hopefully we didn't scare off Kara too, too long. So stay tuned. And we're back. How's it Hello. Going, boys? Kara still gone. Still a wall. A wall. But uh, I miss this dynamic. Us three. <sighs> yeah. Even though it's only been two weeks, it feels like it's been forever. <laughs> it's only it's been wild. one week, te- technically. True. Technically. Yeah. <laughs> technically. So it hasn't, hasn't been that long, but I did miss it as well. But uh, let's, uh, you're, I think you guys are both one and one, one and something. I don't know exactly how it played out. No, but. I don't keep score. Sean, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, if I think we're, I think we're one and one. Okay. We'll oh, say that. Go. Someone correct us if we're wrong. <laughs> yeah, because John John agreed with his stance in the first one. And then so he got that one. And True. then I, I, I agree with the stance. I guess if you just yeah. hold your, your own in the debate, you could just say that you won. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but some there's no way we were arguing for the other guy on this one. You know no, what? Actually, the guy who wanted to leave his kid in the car had some good points. It's 90 <laughs> seconds. Like, what's the big deal? <laughs> There's a 90-second threshold, guys. Come on. It's, the it's, like the fi- it's like the five-second rule with food on the floor. Yeah, there's no 90-second rule with a child in a hot car. Yeah, it's only 100 degrees Fahrenheit, dude. It's fine. <laughs> oh. How much is that in summer? Please don't do it. I don't know. I couldn't do it. I, that's why I put it in Fahrenheit, so I wouldn't have to Thank do the you. translate. Um, all right, so the next one comes from uh, one of the goats, Blood <gasps> Unicorn Valkyrie. Hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Almost... Uh, one a story an episode at this point, I think, <laughs> or at least on my episodes personally. So this one uh, is a little bit longer. It's got an update, so we'll, we'll hop into it here. Am I the asshole for revealing to my dad's wife the real reason why me and him were never close? Uh, I'm going to say no. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say no, too. I'm going to say okay. you have your reasons and, you know, it's, uh, you know, if you were affected by it, then it's it's your story you're allowed to tell. Yeah, reasons could be traumatizing as well. So, you know. True. Is there trigger warnings for this this story? I wouldn't say there's trigger warnings, but it is definitely a heavier story. Ah, Um, Yeah. I don't know if I... I, I'm sure there is a trigger warning somewhere, but I could not tell you what it would be. But Mm. yeah, it's just a heavier story. So I guess warning for that. You guys both said not the asshole. Let's hop into it and see if you are right. My dad practically gave me up to his sister from the moment I, 27 male, was born. My mom died when she was giving birth to me, and my aunt told me he never recovered from that because he blamed me for her dying. Damn. Yeah, I told you it was heavy. First two sentences in. Uh, um, it hurt a lot as a kid, and uh, that at family events, he would ignore my existence. When I was uh, a little older, he got more verbal about me, quote, killing her, oh, and no. he can't stand to look at my face. That's messed up. Yeah. You can imagine the amount of therapy that put me in. I used to go to church crying because I was scared about going to hell for doing that to my mom. That's how much his words fucked me up. But the shitty part was that I never stopped trying to be accepted by him. After my high school graduation, he told me to never bother him again since legally he has no obligation to me anymore. See, at least he Uh, understands the rules, you know, unlike the other guy. Hey, you're an adult now. (laughs) He's an yeah, abusive, like, emotionally abusive <laughs> asshole, but he knows the he law. He the rules. Yeah, he knows, he understands <laughs> He's not it. an idiot. <laughs> He's not an idiot for sure. Needs, needs tons of... Get there. <laughs> needs needs oh, a lot of therapy, but... Uh, God. Sorry for that interruption. No, that was good. That was good. Good <laughs> call bring back, it back. Yeah. Keep it light. Keep it light. Um, around that time is when I finally started accepting the reality. So from there, we moved on with our lives. My aunt doesn't talk to me about him, but sometimes my grandparents do, and that's how I found out he got married. They were mad he didn't invite me to their wedding, but it didn't matter to me because we were not close. But it happened to be his wife who wanted to meet me. It was the first time that he ever wanted to make contact, and it was to pretty much say that she wanted me in their life. She doesn't know the real reason about why we're estranged. He asked me to please not say anything, and maybe this could be a way to reconcile after all. Which is... Nah. That's nah, fucked up. Nah, fam. Nope. You don't want to reconcile. No, you don't really well, the, care. It's very clear he's only reaching out because he has his, 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 his wife. wife. Yeah. 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 After uh, years and years of trauma and blaming and deflecting and all that crap, like you was like, wait, shit? it's going to make uh, me look bad. Uh, we should yes. fucking re- 
reconcile, I think. I think we should be in each other's You should apologize first and foremost. That's what you should do. It ain't going to repair everything, but do something. To start. What did CM Punk say? Let let the apology be as loud and public as the disrespect. I like that. God damn. Yeah. Philosopher, he, CM Punk. Yeah, CM he Punk. apologized to AEW, and he's going to come back at a, you know, Forbidden Door. Josh, we should go to Canada. It's in it's in Toronto. Oh, Just saying expensive. That shit sold out so fast. I think though. Fuck. <laughs> we'll stand outside. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just be there <laughs> in the cold. Hey, we could we could get a a, a hotel in Toronto and just watch it. And together. just watch it there together. Might be True. even better. We could probably get better food than what's in the stadium. Hey, actually, hey. that's. Definitely true, depending on what stadium it is in Toronto. But <laughs> uh, Nova Scotia Bank Arena? Oh, Scotia Bank Arena. Scotia Bank. Yeah. yeah. I think where the That's Raptors a, play, right, Sean? If Raptors and Leafs play, yeah. yeah. Mm. Never been. Uh, actually, no, sorry. I have been to the Raptors game. I'm just saying, legally, we have to meet up once a year. We do have to do, legally do meet up legally? now. Well, legally, we do. I think oh. so, to like discuss, like, you know. I'm 18, gonna... you can't make me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're forced to. It's by the law. <laughs> All right, we're way off track. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, so uh, it was very clear he was only doing it for her. Uh, I never said I would, but he still insisted on us meeting at their place because she really wanted to meet me. All she thinks is we were estranged for not getting along in my teenage years, going to college, and losing touch because of life stuff. It pissed me off that he played it off as us just not uh, talking for petty reasons. Meanwhile, the actual reasons damaged me for years. I told her the truth. Everything he said to me, that he was never a parent to me, that it was all my aunt. Uh, it was definitely a shock for her. The outcome was a disaster. Everyone has heard about this now. My grandma in particular told me that she understands my anger, but this was his chance of finding someone since losing my mom, and now it's put in jeopardy. My dad is devastated. They all think I went too far uh, to ruin his marriage when he was willing to start including me in his life. And it could have been the start of our relationship. She doesn't agree with all that what he did. Uh, and it could have been avoided if I didn't say anything. For me, it was just hard not to tell the truth after the lies made it seem like nothing serious. I don't know if it was the right call since it put their whole marriage at risk. Am I the asshole? Fuck no. Yeah, hell no. How fucking convenient for the dad to all of a sudden be so interested in her life and getting, getting her back in his life because he happened to have found love. And yeah. of course, the, the daughter has all the fucking reasons and all the freaking, you know, they can tell the truth because that's what they experienced for their whole life. Their whole life, yeah. they were the problem. They were being blamed for everything. And what the fuck? Like, I'm not going to beat up. It's all peaches and rainbows over here. Like, nah, fool, you traumatized me my whole fucking life. And all of a sudden, I should be happy for your ass? The audacity yeah. of your bitch ass? Come on, <laughs> man. Like, that, that's that's not. Nah. Like, she she... She had all the right to feel how she felt and he, all the right. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, he. It's son. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. He That's had okay. All I just yeah, thought I corrected you there. Thank you. He had all the right to feel how he felt. That's all. That's all there is to it. Yeah. John's yeah. I, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mid, mid kombucha. I thought John was going to go for a little longer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I agree completely with John. And not to uh, pat myself on the back, but uh, kind of earlier with what I said, like, it's your trauma. It's, it's your story. Like that's not, you, you're just telling your side and there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that. Um, mm -hmm. he, he only had nefarious reasons to ask you back. And yep. I mean, what did he expect? He doesn't know you. He doesn't, oh, he's treated you like shit your whole life. Yep. Uh, so yeah, how fucking dare he ask you for a favor? Yeah, after right? you like a favor, he literally ignoring years. him, Yeah, like acting like he doesn't exist. And when you finally do act like he exists, all you say to him is, be loud about how he killed your wife. You're crazy, yeah, say, brother. Not only you're ignoring, crazy. But trauma dumping on him. Yes. Yeah, his whole life, like insane. Because this is this is the same like people that blame their kids for like the, being alive. Like they didn't ask to be born. You yeah, I guess what, motherfucker? You you're it's your right. fault. Yeah, you're yeah. fifty percent of the reason why he's there. <laughs> you nutted, brother. That's what. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, exactly. And and like, uh, like I mean, it's tragic, but death during childbirth happens it's not the child's fault it's not uh, oh yeah there are tons of complications that could go into that and to to blame it on someone who is just like sorry for existing like how do you ever cope with that that is just mm -hmm. a horrible horrible thing to put on someone so uh yeah uh, 
terrible father and uh there is an update i wonder if Ooh. the update is gonna make any difference to changing our minds uh it's more of just a closure of the story i guess gotcha okay but yeah it's 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 more of closure of the story rather than trying to change anyone's mind about things so is it a happier ending uh oh, no <laughs> i don't know if it's happier <laughs> but here's the update to uh Am I the asshole for revealing to my dad's wife the real reason why me and him were never close? Words cannot express to me how much it means to get so much love from my last post. Everyone who supported not just my actions, but acknowledged the hurt. To all the sweet internet moms who commented and DM'd me, y'all know how to make someone feel loved even by total strangers. Uh, and since somebody wanted an update, here it is. It's a little heavy, and for a couple days I needed time to process and do some crying. So, they're splitting up. I heard it first from my grandma and then from his wife, or I guess ex. She was legit crying on the phone when she called to tell me that she was sorry for putting me in that position. Her and my dad had a long conversation where he told her everything. She made the decision that she could not stay with someone like him, and she wanted me to know how disgusted she is, also to say thanks, which is something I really needed to hear. My dad is who he is, yeah, but regardless, two people ending their marriage because of what you said is a hard thing not to feel guilty about. This lady is heartbroken going through a divorce just a few months after getting married, and she wanted to make the time to reassure someone else that they made the right choice. Unexpectedly, though, my dad also wanted to talk to me yesterday. My girlfriend didn't want me to. Trust me, I get her point, and we didn't know what he wanted to talk about and what it would do to my mental health. It was probably a bad risk to take it, but I met with him. And yeah, I probably should have listened to my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I always listen oh, to Oh, man. Girlfriends. Like, uh, I... I, I like it's hard for me to imagine a different scenario where he'd be like, yeah. you know what? I was wrong. This has opened my eyes. <laughs> like, no, he's, he's such a vengeful guy already. But at the same time, I don't blame the OP for taking that risk. You know what I'm saying? Like this whole time they've been ignored. They've been, you know, they feel like a, just a, a background character. But all of a sudden, like mm -hmm. just that little bit of attention from the dad is like, oh, things could change. Like I feel bad because he's holding on for that hope. You know, yeah. so it's. It's sad. It's it's just sad. And like like what Opie was saying that he's gonna get blamed for this scenario over and over again and he's just gonna feel like someone who can't get things right. And that's just such a fucked up feeling to have. Yeah. Um so he does actually go into what his dad said to him. Do you okay. guys wanna hear that? Sure, yeah. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's not great, well, but it's, but not it's still bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, uh, yeah, it's just it is what it is. Um for the first time in my life, we had a conversation about my mom, how much he loved her, them being happy and excited about having a family. But then she died and he told me, even if it's wrong, he can't stop himself for blaming me simply because if I hadn't been born, she'd still be here. He's only sorry for not completely staying away from me and saying all the horrible things growing up. So not, you know, I guess <laughs> sort of an apology. Not great. Not yeah, he's like, I'm sorry I didn't stay away further. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I didn't like which, fully get out of your life, which is, I mean, which is fair because like we said at the beginning, like not only did he ignore you, he made it worse by like emotionally abusing you. So yep. yeah, yeah, you know, it, it is sort of an apology, not a great one. Uh, not there. one that I would like. <laughs> yeah, you're so close. Yeah. Uh, well, he wasn't saying this to be malicious since he seemed sincere. It was still an ouch for me. In the end, we decided having a relationship with each other was never going to happen and said goodbye. He at least yeah. apologized for putting me in that position. It's the first good thing he's ever told me. And he told me that what happened with his wife wasn't my fault. Oh, so, so I, mean, I, I, I hope that's a little bit of a closure for you. That's exactly. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, he, he basically says the rest of the family started leaving him alone and he just needed some time to process that. But uh, he said, not a total happy ending. I know, but it's better this way. And Damn. I agree. I think it's it's definitely better not to have him in your life. I fucking feel for OP, man. Like, that's a oh, lot yeah. to take in. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> this is sad. <sighs> I'm sad. Let's hop into a, uh, I don't know if I'd call it a lighter story, but one that you guys can get angry at. Oh, there okay. it is. And then, you know, not We're going to get angry for free? Is that what we do now? I mean, you guys I get angry. I want to say we, we always <laughs> get angry for free. <laughs> We fight know. behind a paywall. Uh, the, the, the water discussion kind of put it at a little pedestal for me. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't mean angry with each other. Oh, not with each other. Yeah, okay. that only happens behind a patron. Damn, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> 
All right. So this one I found and it is, am I the asshole for lying to my wife as a joke about what AWD means? Here we go. It, I feel like we haven't had one good husband telling a joke a story. It's AWD? the joke or the prank is always that. bad. I also all, don't know. All wheel drive. All wheel drive. drive. <laughs> that's all yeah. I can think of. <laughs> oh, this could be a little bit harmless then. Well, actually, no. Vehicles are dangerous killing machines. So who knows? <laughs> I like how you convince yourself every way. Very quickly. <laughs> uh, when you play all sides, you're never wrong. You're never the loser. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, let's hop into it and see. So my 27 male wife, 27 female, is very into feminism. And I often joke about it and she does not seem to mind. Like I believe in equality and all and don't criticize her views or anything. Sounds... But don't love the way this is written. <laughs> don't don't love a, this. But, <laughs> oh, but, don't love the star but, of this. <laughs> Not good. My wife was having car trouble with the engine of her old car, and her mechanic convinced her they were going to get worse and advised her to get another car. I thought I could do for a few more years, but she's decided to sell it without getting a second opinion. Her mechanic is actually a woman, and she trusted her for this reason and thinks she's a great mechanic. I don't... See, this is where it's like. It seems unnecessary to yeah. bring that up, you brother. You sound very sexist. Just the yeah. way. But I gotta you tell you, this. as soon as I heard she was a mechanic, brother. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Uh, like any Dude. other mechanic wouldn't convince her that it's gonna cost a lot of work to fix this yeah. or whatever. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I think yeah. Any Every professional fucking mechanic. Yeah, would be. <laughs> yeah, that that makes sense. I yeah. agree with you because this is your job. If, yeah, and I don't know anyone. It, and honestly, mechanics are predatory in some circumstances Uh, for sure so yeah uh anyway my wife sold her car and bought a used one that was much newer from a lady again not necessary (laughs) so weird to bring up little details that don't matter Yeah. yeah she brought it up because she fell in love with the color and thought it looked cute it's a fine car and i have no issue with it but it seems like an odd reason to get a car for me the car has an awd badge on it And as we were driving back after she bought it, she asked me why it said AWD. I joked and said it was something they put on and it's a club called Association of Women Drivers where women get together to talk about their cars and car troubles to help each other out. I thought she would realize it was a joke, but she took me seriously. So I didn't say anything and she tried to laugh or sorry, and tried not to laugh. She said she would consider joining. When we got home, she Googled it and realized I was joking, but she got real upset and called me an asshole. I don't get why she is so offended by such a small joke as I would have told her eventually what it means. So am I the asshole? I will say you you are the asshole, but not for any (laughs) of the reasons. Um, I feel like the joke, yeah, the joke in and of itself is a harmless joke. Not a a bad joke even. But your Uh, worldview. But your worldview and the way you wrote this, (laughs) you must be an asshole. There's no, there's no way around it. Yeah, a woman mechanic mechanic. and bought it from a sales (laughs) woman. And I believe they should have equality, but you know, (laughs) but yeah, don't don't love whenever they have a job. I don't. I should criticize them every every point or point out. When uh, they're doing an opinion wrong. from a man, yeah, possibly, they they clearly you know? can't be good at their job. It's just that they're women is why my wife or girlfriend, you know, trust them, yeah. not, not because they can actually excel cute. at their job. Yeah, <laughs> so I, yeah, this guy, not an asshole for the reason that he thinks he's the asshole, but but he's, he's an asshole, asshole for being him, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for just being himself. Yes. For, for, yeah, I lo- I do love how his first few sentences were trying to frame that oh, I don't criticize uh, oh. feminism or anything. Like that. Yeah. It's oh like, my god, brother, you got to really take a look I, inward. And I feel like see. if you start, yeah, if you if you say that, there's always you probably are. You're probably are. that's like the no offense, but. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's yeah. the same. You're There's about to say some offensive offense. shit. <laughs> Look, I believe in feminism. That but only leads to uh, I'm not saying racist, some very but. misogynistic things. There's no way bullshit. around it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I knew that would get you guys angry. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, so 100% the asshole. Um, and with that, we're going to take a break and go... Look up what AWD really means. Yeah, he's a walking we- dipshit. That's what he is. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God quick damn, that was it. good, John. I'm quick with it. 
We're going to go out on that big note. And we're going to an ad That's break. That's the episode, be- guys. We cannot <laughs> top that, actually. We can't <laughs> top that. That's as good as we're going to we'll get. To, we'll uh, see you guys next week. Uh, it was a pleasure. <laughs> no, but we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Please stay tuned. And we're back. Uh, the episode is only downhill from here after John's yeah, killer what joke. The fuck? Well, it won't be downhill if you had all-wheel drive, baby. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. John's really good at... Hey, can I be honest with you guys? I don't even know what all-wheel drive means. Me neither, my guy. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty sure it means all your wheels will turn. Yeah, that's why. Don't they all on every car? (laughs) No, like like mechanically turn, I guess, is the word. Uh, I don't know, bro. I just know cars go and cars reverse. That's all I know. I mean, they do those things too. (laughs) Cargo vroom. Yeah, cargo vroom. (laughs) Oh, all right. Well, let's let's get through these last two stories. And then we got our patron. Uh, so stay for tuned for that. This one's cross-posted by Such a Six. And it's... Oh, say that name again? What was that name again? Such a Six. Such a... Oh, okay. Oh. I was about to say... What's a Six? You packing oh. them? Oh. <laughs> Maybe that is what it's supposed to be. <laughs> like you're supposed to say it real fast. It sounds like that. Maybe. Uh... All right, so am I the asshole because I sat on my boyfriend's friend's lap because there was no seats left? You sat on, sit, your sit on your boyfriend's lap? lap. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> sit on your boyfriend's lap. <laughs> so you guys are saying asshole? Or, do or I mean, also your boyfriend maybe should have got up and let you have the seat probably is the correct, correct answer. Uh, but yeah. And I don't, then he should have sat on his friend's lap. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not a jealous yeah. type, but if I see my wife sitting on another dude's lap, it's on sight. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no ifs or buts. I'm just going to swing. All right. We're seeing the real John come out of like yeah. this. <laughs> John, uh, so you guys are saying wanting to hit his wife? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what you meant, but John was trying to paint you in a terrible way. I, I love to oh my God. try and mix y'all's words. You know this. <laughs> This is our world. Uh, but I'm not white. Yeah. <laughs> I'm obviously very brown. Yeah. Um, so you guys are saying asshole, I think, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. All right. Why would you put your boyfriend in that compromising situation? You know what I mean? Like, Fair enough. That's my thing. Let's hop into it and see where this goes. I, 25 female, and my boyfriend, B, 25 male, have been dating for two years. B is very intelligent, thoughtful, and polite, but he is a people pleaser and does not like confrontation. He is a best friend, K, 21 male. K has big eyes, a cute button nose, an adorable smile, and an nah, awful- fam, ah, not girl, you fam. are feeling K. No You're feeling way. K, baby. Ooh, you finna get KO. That's what's gonna happen. And an awful personality. Oh, okay. All right. So he's-, <laughs> he's <laughs> Then. That was the nah, final point there. But that sounds like somebody you'd, you know, you can't, you can't be given all those- those superlatives and then yeah, be like, that sounds oh. like you feel and then sit on his lap later. I don't think so. OP. Okay. Okay. I like, it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, if he doesn't know you, he's prickly and rude. B says that's just how he is. K likes to make fun of me, but B says it's just K teasing me and he likes me a lot. Nah, he's trying to fuck. <laughs> B keeps inviting K on our outings that are supposed to be dates. Most recently B had organized a hiking slash nature outing. When we arrived, I found out he invited Kay. The three of us did an easy but long hike for the entire day. At the end of the trail, there's a ride that takes you back to civilization. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, yo. Where did you <laughs> How go? How far out were you? <laughs> Fucking going Jumanji plane. on us or what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't know how exactly how to explain it, but it's a truck that's attached to a trap with seats. I don't know what a trap is. What's a trap? Like a trailer, maybe? Like it's uh, on a car? Or in the we truck. really don't know shit about cars. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell. Unless that's I'm very maybe that's just a, yeah, so a regional thing. Yeah, it maybe. Could be. I'm going to say trailer because that makes the most sense out of all this. Sure. Uh, it's not enclosed, so you can see the night sky and feel the, the breeze. The ride comes around every two hours. There were several people waiting for the ride back at the end of the hike. When it came, everyone scrambled on, and I didn't have a seat. The driver yelled that I couldn't stand... So I asked Beave to move over since I'm pretty small, but he said he didn't think it was allowed since it was one seat. He told me to just wait here for the next ride. I didn't want to uh-huh. wait alone while in the dark, and the driver said I had to either sit down or get off. I started to move to get off, and then Kay said to sit on his lap. 
I wasn't in the mood to joke around, so I sat on his lap. The ride was about 50 minutes to an hour long. We got off. Long <laughs> that is a long time. <laughs> we got off. B and I went to my car, and I thought that was the end of it. B told me that I embarrassed Kay and everyone in the ride with the stunt I pulled. He said that I acted immaturely and should not have done that. I should have waited for the next ride. He requested an apology. However, I said I didn't think I did anything wrong. So am I the asshole? Everyone sucks here. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if she's actually. I don't know if OP said. Well, yeah, no, I think she had. I think she has a. Pl- I don't know. My brick wall. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think she's not she's innocent in this Josh. issue either. I well, feel like- I think her her other option was to get off the bus and wait two hours by herself. Yeah, which is that doesn't seems seem like unsafe. A good, but like, why, why, not why, si- why didn't why didn't be like either be like sit on my lap or I'll wait for the next one with you. But if I was like, OP, I would yes. not sit on another guy's lap, though. I would go and be like, hey, Big, I'm going to sit on your lap. Right. But uh, I don't That's know if he's telling guess. her to get off. It's not like he's suggesting she sit on his lap. You know what I mean? And in the in the moment like of being told to get off or sit down, you're like, you're in a panic state. <laughs> and if no one's helping you. Yeah, but if uh, it's like I, initially I can understand like, OK, like the first minute, like, oh, shit. But then like afterwards, I'd move But 50 minutes of sitting on another dude's lap. I'm just saying like that's. I'm, sure. I'm not saying I'm not saying B is innocent because B is fucking stupid to even suggest his girlfriend like wait by herself. That's idiotic as fuck. Yeah, I think that's the the main issue. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know. I think I think he made his bed. He he kind of told his girlfriend, you know, go f- like fuck off basically, and I'll meet you back there in like two fucking hours, two hours? which is wild. Uh, and. Instead of being like, no, sit on my chair or sit on my lap, whatever. Like, I think he's number one asshole. Yeah. Uh, oh, definitely he's the number one I asshole. Also, I also don't think K sucks. I think he was just trying to be like, yo, like, <laughs> sit, sit down because we, uh, it's stupid to let you sit there. Um, I don't know. Yeah, K's giving me another like, vibe, though. <laughs> I don't know if K is trying to fuck. I don't think he's trying he to could fuck. He could be. I mean, he could be. But, but also, like, I, also, we don't have but enough But then B always invites him over. So, like, he's also yeah. just weird. Which is yeah. Weird. Why would you do that? I don't know. I still, th- I'm still going to stick with is my everyone. Is in love with situation. K? Mm. Maybe. And K is like, love hey, with I'm trying OB. to get this. I'm trying to get this dark bus ride along with my boy. What you doing over here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll sit on his lap. Why are you sitting on his lap? <laughs> I'm kind of through it at this point. God damn it. Yeah. I mean, listen. It sounds like go- all parties could be into it. Actually, to be honest. Fair. I mean. Here's yeah, I don't know. I I have an issue with calling her the asshole because she uh, was kind of put in a situation it's where she safety ha- for had her. no choice. Yeah, yeah. I don't call. I don't think she's an asshole. I think she just sucks. Okay, I mean bit. that's that's fair. I don't agree, but I, I that's fine. Yeah, it's fair. Um, you got to think like halfway through that bus ride, B would just be like, sit on yeah, my lap, just wave her over. Yeah, <laughs> like at, after the first minute, be like, okay, well if that's allowed, then fucking come over here. Don't spend yeah. an hour. On my boy's jock. That's supposed to be me. <laughs> That's my spot. <laughs> or like uh, you sit and I sit on your lap. God damn it. <laughs> Something. There was a solution here and B was not into it. Yeah, B was an idiot. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. definitely an idiot. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Well, I think John and I say not the asshole. Uh, or Sean and I say not the asshole. Sorry. And then John's saying everyone sucks. Is that sure. correct? Yes. Okay. Let us know what you think, Wikimaniacs, down in the comments. I thought I was going to hate Kay going into the story with the preference of everything, but he ended up my my favorite character, which is wild. <laughs> but also not a high bar. Not a high no, bar it was, either. It was a yes. low bar. <laughs> but I guess he did low-key save her from being alone at a bus alone stop. Alone for two hours. He was just dead ass ready to fucking leave her. Mm, that's, that's where so I'm like, that's wild. Be fucking, fucking crazy. <laughs> to be like, no, get the fuck off. Wait two hours in the two dark. Two hours in the woods by yourself in the dark? Oh, Are you crazy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And not suggest right. to like, oh, wait with you. Oh, my God. He's wild. He's wild. <laughs> Moving on. Never mind. I'll jump in a bandwagon with you guys, God damn it. Fucking B's terrible. He's the yeah. only asshole in this shit. Yeah. Let's go. There you go. Can- yeah. <laughs> I like it. We, we're reunited. <laughs> fuck We need to add a, a sound uh, <laughs> like scrubs yeah. for the high five. Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, no, don't do it. <laughs> they can All imagine. Right. They can imagine. Final story is cross post posted by uh, First Pershawn Energy. Yeah, our favorites. Damn it. Very active on Discord, by the way. Shout out. Very active. Yeah, 
actually yeah. post a lot in our subreddit too. So oh. I'm loving it. Uh, am I the asshole for pretending to not know who Jesus is to some guy at, from work who tried to lecture me at the bar? No. No. Anybody trying to lecture you deserves to get trolled, I think. <laughs> That's Facts. Fair. Like as an That's adult, fair. you're going to lecture me? I don't think so. <laughs> Unless I did something like leave my child in a car. <laughs> for coffee for 90 seconds. Yeah. Right? What if it maybe was I, for maybe Jesus, I to get though? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there you go. That's the real question. So, all right, let's hop into it. So I have hearing damage in one ear, and sometimes I have trouble hearing stuff the first time, depending on if they're on my bad side. I also started a new job recently and went out for the first time with a bunch of coworkers. After a few drinks, this guy I didn't know came up to me at the bar, which was pretty loud and crowded, and said something to me that I only half caught. But I could tell the vibe of it was that someone had a problem with me being gay. And he suggested I didn't go around work saying that I am gay. I figured he was doing me a solid. I'm a lesbian in a state that's not too friendly to that. And often at new jobs, someone will pull me aside and warn me who the bigots in the office are. Ugh. I always appreciate it because the Whisper Network has saved my ass a few times. But I didn't really hear the name he said. So I went with who? He seemed surprised like the guy was someone I should obviously know. I was like, who did you say? And then he said the name I still didn't catch. I was feeling kind of embarrassed. I honestly am sort of insecure about my hearing, so I didn't want to ask him to repeat himself a fourth time. So I was like, hey man, I'm sorry, but I'm blanking on the name. Could you point him out? I was still assuming that he meant some coworker at the bar. He was going like, what the fuck? No, I can't. And acting mad, I didn't know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he started to get a little frustrated and said, and I said, dude, seriously, you're trying to tell me to look out for someone. You can't even tell me which guy you're warning me about. At that point, he raised his voice at me and yelled that it was Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I realized then he's not trying to warn me of some bigoted fuck it. Uh, he fucker. is the bigoted. <laughs> <laughs> that work, he was the fucker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is where I might be, really be a dick. I finally clicked for me. Took long enough, I know. But at this point, I was starting to find pissing this guy off funny. So I just went, As dude, no need to, <laughs> dude, no need to cuss out me for asking. He said he wasn't cussing me out. And I asked, so seriously, who was it? Because you're honestly freaking me out, man. And several times, while he got increasingly frustrated, he said, Jesus, to which, to which I went, language, man. I'm not talking to you if you keep cussing me out. <laughs> he got mad and stormed off and went back to the table with my coworkers. A few of co uh, my colleagues asked what was up. It looked as if someone said something that upset him. I was like, I don't know. It was so weird. He was talking to me about how I should hide that I'm gay from work because he knew <sighs> some guy would have a problem with it, but he wouldn't tell me which guy. And I hate to say this, but I'm starting to think there isn't another guy. Question mark. My coworker said I should tell HR and I was like, maybe I, I will if he says anything again. I do feel a little conflicted about this, though, since past a certain point, I was just poking the bear. So am I the asshole for Prenda? No. Did not know who Jesus was. <laughs> no, no, absolutely oh. not. That's uh, fucking yeah, funny. that you're, is how you troll a bigot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're trolling a bigot. He's, you know, being awful to you. You know, thankfully, you didn't really realize it until later. Uh, you didn't yeah. have to hear it, I guess, which was, I, I guess, good, you know, bright side. But yeah, he's, he's being an asshole. You deserve to get him right back. And you didn't even do anything like overtly mean. You just yeah. couldn't hear him. You're just like, <laughs> what? Who? Who is that? Just said, like, that's Mike fine. Jones. <laughs> Mike yeah. <laughs> Houston legend, right? Yeah. Back I don't know Jesus. Oh, dear, me. Yeah. <laughs> 281 uh, 330 Man, that you is. You still call that number, by the way. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Anyone out there, don't call that number. <laughs> Unless you want to talk to Mike Jones, then. Who? Do. The weird. Weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're not the asshole. That is no, hilarious. That's fucking the hilarious. Best, the best way to deal with a bigot. Because you, you could tell him to fuck off, but that's not going to teach him. But definitely hilarious when you just shit on their belief <laughs> you know I'm can not you really imagine just... if this had turned the other way and the oh. person was just like you don't know jesus <laughs> let me tell you everything oh, and then you're like oh fuck this backfired <laughs> oh, yeah I, i'm no longer gay <laughs> that's how it works i'm not uh, like the most religious person but i can guarantee you jesus loved everybody <laughs> Yeah, so, big part of his whole thing was he just uh, accepted everybody. Yeah, yeah, accepting and loving everybody, I think, is was kind of his vibe. And that's why he, I know he's not white. 
<laughs> oh, the we best didn't thing say you said about we didn't say being white, time, Josh. <laughs> I shit on being white all the time. <laughs> Uh, but no, good on you. Uh, I think that's hilarious. And, and I definitely think you should report that to HR. Yes. Uh, oh, for fact, sure. Get that money. Yeah. I don't get and that discrimination I, I'm sure, claim. Yeah. John could speak more to that. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. That's just a, a zero tolerance record. for a lot of places. Absolutely. Get him well, fired immediately. Maybe not the state she's in. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. Even some of the most conservative states has zero, uh, zero policy when it comes to yeah. harassment like that. That's good to know. Yeah. Actually, I like that. Awesome. Well, that is it for this episode, <sighs> Wicked Maniacs. What did you think? Were these people assholes? Let us know in the comments down below uh, on our YouTube, uh, or you can go to our Discord, let us know there, or on our subreddit. Uh, all the links to e every one of the stories is in the show notes, so you can click and go discuss it there. Uh, if you want to hear more, like the last two stories, please consider joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network. You unlock bonus episodes as well as extra stories every Friday. Lots. Uh, yeah, there's there's lots of stuff we got going on there, so go check it out. Uh, speaking of which, I think we have a shout out to do, John, real quick. Yes, I have it up right now. And this is from, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right, Stan Lay. They wrote on our Patreon, Sean, by the way, they're $10. They're $10. They're $10. So, Whoa. Oh. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. Are we supposed to <laughs> but, say their first and last name? No, I think that's one name, right? Yeah, it's just Stan oh. Lay. Like it's hyphenated. Got you. I think John muted himself. John, 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 you muted. <laughs> oh, there we go. Me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fuck. I'm having technology issues today. Um. <laughs> anyways, what was the last thing I said? Uh, uh, me wondering if it was the first and last name or just one name. Oh yeah, right. it's just Stan Midscore Lay. But anyways, oh, they wrote gotcha. Midscore. Like it. Hi guys, I'm a $10 patron and was wondering if I could get a cameo in one of the next videos. I just want my favorite podcast to congratulate me for being a first generation college graduate from immigrant yeah. parents. Hell my name yeah. is Stan Midscore Lay and my pronouns are he slash him. Thank you guys if you end up doing it, but I understand if there are people ahead of me. Love you guys and keep being awesome. Well, you're in luck. Because yes. there's either no one ahead of you or we have forgotten so much. <laughs> yeah. Well, usually the cameos are sent privately, uh, but you specifically asked. And uh, this is a pretty big, this is a huge accomplishment. Hell oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, we might have even been tempted to share that had you not been a, a rich, rich, but uh, absolutely. You know, all the combining factors, we got to do it. You know? We got to do so, it. So, yes. Congrats to you. That's fucking awesome. Sick. Uh, we're very proud of you. And uh, hell yeah, first of many to come, hopefully. Yes, yeah, and, as, and as an immigrant who has also been like a first generation that graduated in this country, I applaud you and I applaud your parents for sacrificing and doing everything they need to do to get, make sure you're successful. So shout out to you, Stanley, and shout out to your parents for that big ac accomplishment. So big ups, hell yeah. congratulations. Yeah. So take a good look at John because that's your future in 10 years. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Soak it in. In pain, depressed, and all those other things. <laughs> but look at that. You have but a rich wife that brings you food and has <laughs> two, two dogs. beautiful dogs. dogs. Living oh. a good life. It's a great a pool, life. Everything. He's got, like he's got John and uh, Sean and I, so we're yeah. You know, yeah. loving life. Living life. I got a good uh, life. Yeah, con congratulations on graduating. Um, as someone who struggled to graduate, I, f I feel the, uh, it can be difficult sometimes. So hey, I graduated for, eight years later than I should have. So still did I might it. be close to that actually, John, that's, that's fine. Still did I think it. I also did too. <laughs> I think I did a super senior, uh, the, the, the good old five year. But then again, the I government owned me for a while. So like, that's probably why it took me so long. Oh, no, no, that's true. True. I mean, they own me in loans. So I guess that's something. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, thank you, Sean and John, for your takes today. Uh, thank you, Wikimaniacs, for listening. We will see you guys on Monday. Bye. Later. Do it. Just do it. Expert in fucking power. Great power. For the fifth time, it's your boy, Sean. <laughs> <laughs>